The next part of our discussion will be the forces acting on the hip joint during the gait cycle. There are two categories of forces acting on the hip joint during the gait cycle, or any segment really. We have our internal moments, so those are internal forces, so forces generated within the body. The most important internal moment or internal force, those are our muscles. And we'll talk about the muscles activated during the gait cycle in the hip. The other ones are going to be your passive forces, so your ligaments and your joint capsule. The other category of moments is our external moments or our external forces. These are our forces generated outside the body. The most important external moment, that's going to be our ground reaction forces. So every time we put a force into the floor, like taking a step or our body weight, the floor is going to generate an opposite and equal reaction to that because of Newton's third law. And that reaction is going to be our ground reaction forces. Beyond these ground reaction forces, we have some horizontal forces. That's going to be the result of acceleration or deceleration and the friction of our foot to the floor. 